Hey, sir. Hey, sir, I want Your you. Your friend Austin said Aust that? Yes. Well, hell fire. And you know what? As the host of one of the most controversial talk shows on television, Jerry Springer made a name for himself as a cultural icon. But now that he has passed away, the question on everyone's mind is who will inherit his massive fortune and his beloved property? Gerald Norman Springer was born on February 13, 1944 in the London Underground Station of Highgate, while the station was in use as a shelter from German bombing during World War II. He grew up on Shandos Road, East Finchley. His parents, Margaret and Richard Springer, were German-Jewish refugees who escaped from Landsberg and Der Worth, Prussia, now Poland. His maternal grandmother, Marie Kalman, who was left behind, died in the gas vans of Chelmno extermination camp. His paternal grandmother, Selma Springer, died at the hospital in the Thersienstadt concentration camp. In 1970, Springer ran for the United States House of Representatives. He failed to unseat incumbent Republican Donald D. Clancy, but took 45% of the vote in a traditionally Republican district. He had previously spearheaded the effort to lower the voting age, including testifying before the Senate Judiciary Committee in support of ratification of the 26th Amendment. Three days after announcing his candidacy, Springer, who was also an army reservist at the time, was called to active duty and stationed at Fort Knox. He resumed his campaign after he was discharged. Springer was elected to the Cincinnati City Council in 1971. On April 29, 1974, Springer resigned from the council after admitting to soliciting a prostitute. He ran for the office in 1975, winning by a landslide. He was re-elected in 1977 and 1979. Springer was considered a gonzo-type politician, with stunts such as staying a night in jail and commandeering a bus after the city took over bus service. In 1977, Springer was chosen by the Cincinnati City Council to serve for one year as mayor. The one-year term was due to a political arrangement at the time that required the Democrats to split the mayoral term with a local third-party group, the Charter Committee, with whom the Democrats governed in an electoral alliance. In the city council and as mayor, Springer supported changing the local election system so that council members would be elected by districts instead of nine X at large system. But his efforts did not meet with success. In 1981, Springer stepped down from his seat on the city council in order to focus on running for governor of Ohio, seeking the Democratic nomination in the 1982 Ohio gubernatorial election. Television commercials for Springer's campaign referenced his use of a check to pay a prostitute, saying that he was not afraid of the truth, even if it hurts. He failed to win the Democratic Party's nomination, finishing a distant third behind former Lieutenant Governor Richard F. Celeste and Ohio Attorney General William J. Brown, and his political career was put on hold. In the late 1980s, he played a major role in saving the historic Cincinnati Union Terminal. Springer's broadcast career started while he was an undergraduate at Tulane University on WTUL New Orleans FM, a progressive format college radio station. It continued while he was still mayor of Cincinnati with album-oriented rock radio station WEBN-FM, which was noted for its laid-back and irreverent radio format. Jerry Springer has been married to Mickey Velton since 1973. They have one daughter, Katie, who was born in 1976. Most of the money came from his work as a radio and TV host. With over $15 million in annual income, Jerry Springer is one of the richest talk show hosts in the United States. He is said to make $8 million a year from The Jerry Springer Show. The talk show host did not always have it easy, though, because he was born in a bomb bunker during World War II. Celebrity Net Worth says that Jerry Springer was worth $80 million when he died. It is expected that his property will be equally distributed between his wife Mickey Velton and daughter Katie Springer. Jerry has always been a force to be reckoned with. He has tackled controversial topics and pushed the boundaries of daytime television, all while maintaining a sense of humor and a genuine interest in the lives of his guests. Whether you love him or hate him, there is no denying the impact that Jerry Springer has had on television and popular culture. His legacy will continue to be felt for years to come as his influence can be seen in everything from reality TV shows to political discourse. We hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more celebrity news. Thank you for watching, we will see you in the next video.